One of the students shared with me how to uh, do a different infill on a certain part of your 3D print. Um, so imagine you don't wanna make it 100% infill like for the whole print, but you wanna make like 100% infill for a specific, like a part of your design that you think that's gonna have more stress. So you wanna just change the infill in that area. So for example, uh, so here I just have like a, a drawing that I have. So like, let's say that I'm gonna do like a draft. So like, this is the layer uh, and I'm gonna go and uh, so this is of course on uh, Cura, as you guys can see. So I have the layer height, I have like the 20% infill grid, temperature and everything's already set. Uh, so I'm just gonna add uh, generate support and I'm gonna do uh, touch and build plate because I'm gonna print this. Uh, so let me zoom in. And uh, so this design, I wanna make sure that this area is actually strong because that's what's connecting both laddering, you know, without actually making like 100% fill. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this icon. Um, so you, you can see that right now, this one is not selected. See, is the first one that's selected. So you wanna make sure, because like sometimes when you click, see that it doesn't show anything. So you think that's that that one is not selected, but it is. If if it's kind of like grayed out a little bit, it's because it, it it's selected. So I'm just gonna click and drag. Come on, I click this guy. I'm gonna click that guy. All right, so that one is. So I'm gonna click here and drag a little bit. See that now that there is a there is a cube there. Okay. So this cube. Now it's an area on my drawing. So I can click here and I can move the cube. See? All right, see that how I can move my cube around? So my, I'm actually gonna position my cube. Let's say that I wanna enlarge it. Um, Let's do uniform scaling and then I'm gonna do 20. All right, so it's a bigger cube. But like a, I can just do like a, a check out the uniform scaling and just like a change only one parameter. You know, okay. Now I'm gonna go and position this cube where I think I wanna change my. So I want that area right there, see? So it goes through my whole thing. So I want that area to be like 100% infill. So now that area is selected, I'm gonna come here to the left. I'm gonna click on this icon. And then, let's do modify selected, see? Modify selected is this one. Um, so I see how I can set up like a different settings. So I'm gonna do select, I'm gonna select infill. So infill is actually one of my options now. So right now I can come here and do like a hundred percent All right, so right now this area is gonna have 100% infill even though uh, the rest of the, of the print is gonna have only 20% um, infill. Actually, like a, I should actually do that also right here. So again, I'm gonna click on this guy, I'm gonna click here, 
I'm going to create a block. I'm going to move. I'm going to resize the block. All right, that's the block that I want to resize. This is the block that I want to resize. All right. Now, I think here I'm going to move to where I think it's the area that I think that should have. I'm going to look around and see. Oh, I should move it a little bit that way. A little bit's going to have 100% All right. So, again, what do we do? We click on the box. We click here and we do modify, select overlaps, select settings, and field density. And I can come here, close, and I can come here and uh, change that to 100%. Cool. So right now, that area and this area both are going to have 100% uh, infill. All right. Yeah, thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope that was useful.